Welcome once again to Commander by Danon. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Alix. Huge thanks to Alix and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Alix reached out asking for a deck built around Gut, True Soul Zealot, with Agent of the Iron Throne, and I was more than happy to help. And since times are tough for a lot of us, I tried to make the deck as ultra-budget as possible. This deck is one that can be picked up for less than the cost of a pre-con. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the deck list, consider sharing this video as well. Gut True Soul Zealot is a 3 mana 2 3 legendary goblin shaman. Whenever we attack, we may sacrifice another creature or an artifact. If we do, we create a 4 1 black skeleton creature token with menace that's tapped and attacking. Additionally, like all monocolored legendary creatures from Battle for Baldur's Gate, we can choose a background. Agent of the Iron Throne is a legendary background enchantment that gives commander creatures we own a new ability. It is, whenever an artifact or creature we control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. So, Gut wants us to sacrifice a creature or an artifact every turn, while Agent of the Iron Throne helps us deal more damage when we do so. Sounds like a match made in heaven. But Alex didn't want to just have another Aristocrats deck. He wanted something relentless like the undead, creatures that can return from the graveyard over and over again. So this isn't exactly a sacrifice deck, nor is it a graveyard deck. It's a self-reanimator deck. There are two creature types in Magic that are great at coming back from the graveyard all by themselves, so this deck is built around both of them. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard is always innovating, and recently they have unveiled their new Druidic Secrets boulders. Turn your deck box into a mystical place. These gorgeous boulders come in a variety of colors and patterns, like this olive-colored one celebrating the trees. Unleash your inner dryad to become one with nature, and pick yourself up one at the local game store. Or order yourself one from Amazon. Link down below. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces which is why I try to rely on my handy-dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get into our video. In addition to streaming on Twitch, I will be dual streaming on a new YouTube channel as well. Check out Gaming with Danon if you want to catch me live. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Dragon Skull Summit, Sulfurous Mire, Geothermal Bog, Smoldering Marsh, Tainted Peak, Shadow Blood Ridge, Tramway Station, Bloodfell Caves, Akum Refuge, Temple of Malice, Drossforge Bridge, Rakdos Guildgate, Rakdos Cranarium, Myriad Landscape, Bajuka Bog, Ten Swamps, and Ten Mountains make up the land base for this deck. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Indulgence, Rakdos Signet, Charcoal Diamond, Fire Diamond, Mindstone, Felwar Stone, Solemn Simulacrum, Descent into Avernus, Decanter of Endless Water, Commander's Sphere, Thought Vessel, and Thrawn Dynamo help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Underworld Sentinel, Big Score, Unexpected Windfall, Faithless Looting, Phyrexian Arena, Thrill of Possibility, Village Rites, Sign in Blood, Knight's Whisper, Read the Bones, and Morbid Opportunist help us to dig through our deck and keep our hands full. Ghastly Death Tyrant, Abraid, The Devil, Terminate, Feed the Swarm, Rakdos Charm, Hero's Downfall, Doomblade, Curtain's Call, 
Chaos Warp, and Vandal Blast help us to keep our opponents in line. Blasphemous Act, and Black Sun Zenith help us to reset the board as needed. Death Baron, Death Priest of Merkel, Cult Conscript, Reassembling Skeleton, Skeleton Crew, Flame Skull, Gutter Bones, Lightning Skelemental, Paragon of Open Graves, Persistent Specimen, Tenacious Dead, Flamewake Phoenix, Lamplight Phoenix, Lightning Phoenix, Nemesis Phoenix, Phoenix Chick, Phoenix of Ash, Rekindling Phoenix, Skyfire Phoenix, Immortal Phoenix, Cyrix Carrier of the Flame, and Warcry Phoenix make up the core of our deck, and how we plan on winning the game. Supporting our plan, we've got Altar of Ball and Corpses of the Lost. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 36 lands and 14 pieces of ramp. Right on target. 11 pieces of card advantage. 11 pieces of interaction. 2 board wipes. 1 piece of graveyard hate in Bajuka Bog. No sudden I win cards, but lots of value. Our entire deck is built around the idea of constantly being able to throw an army of skeletons and phoenixes at our opponents. Every turn we sacrifice one of our creatures, making an attacking 4-1 skeleton, dealing extra damage with Agent of the Iron Throne, and also bringing back even more creatures from our graveyard. Now, this is a more casual deck. Yes, we're aggressive, but we're not comboing off and winning on turn four. So for this deck, you want a bit of ramp, some lands, maybe some card advantage to start. You don't really need to have a ton of interaction in your opening hand, but depending on what your opponents are playing, you might want to. Just build up your board state, but try not to make one player your enemy. Eventually, you'll have a giant army and can overwhelm your opponents. Do you have a gut True Soul Zealot deck? What about an Agent of the Iron Throne deck? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my daughter Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash For only $25, you too can have a Commander video built at your request. I also want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borgie, Nazwin, Pedro, Midge, Detroff, Alex, Alex, Julio, Michael, Valeri, Conga, Ignis, RJ, J, and Greg. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.